Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperian Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today on the Alpha 7.5 series. I think it's episode 10. No, 10 was last one. So 11. I think it's 11. <clears throat> we'll go with 11. So uh, you saw at the end of last episode we spawned in the CV and I said off camera I was going to like transfer everything over well I thought on that and I thought you know what why not show the spoils and how they're used in setting up the first CV so you know it's, it's a big part of the game it might be a little bit boring. There's no combat. There's, and I'm you know going to be transferring stuff from cargo box to another cargo box. But some of you might be interested in it. I know I'm. I I love doing stuff like this in the game. It's like the reuse recycle methodology and mentality of of games. Uh, I like that. You know, it's it's cool. So. I went through my, let's go into the base here, and I went in here and I looked through what I had that I can actually upgrade the HV, or CV with, um, and I think I grabbed everything I want, and yeah, uh, yeah, I mean there's a couple of the artillery turret I mean hmm. I can't even make ammo for it yet I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some mini guns for it so I had a couple of the smaller large generators the T1 generators that'll be fine lots of the uh, fuel tanks that I had looted T T2s and T3s tons uh, some ventilator O2 tank some armor doors so we can upgrade those uh, ammo boxes we got a repair bay <clears throat> we got a T1 fridge some uh, tech equipment deco and uh, furnishings deco for first aid stuff uh, okay so let's get some of the stuff in we also have some cargo blocks that uh, cargo box blocks that we'll put in so I think we need to start with the cargo and so that we have somewhere <clears throat> excuse me so that we have somewhere to move the constructor stuff over to right and let's just start getting this stuff in let's just stop gabbing okay so let's uh i'm gonna do the double wide ones here we're gonna go one two three on this side and one two and three okay and then we had some large ammo boxes so let's get those in uh, I'm not gonna put all of them in I think I'll just put one in really <laughs> it's probably gonna be plenty so we'll put one in <clears throat> what I do need to do actually is let's uh because I am high enough level, I am going to want to, let's go into the builder, and we are going to make a harvest box. Now this is good for HV and CV. So let's get that put in. Okay, the reason why I'm going to put that in is because I can also make... <clears throat> uh, I didn't make it already, but it's very important. I think I'll make it. If I have the mats for it, I'll make it. Uh, it'll be here. Weapons and items. Drill turret HV... Multi turret, drill turret, CV. 
Oh yeah, I can do that. Zascosium alloy 10. So that's going to eat up a huge chunk of my Zascosium alloy, but I think... I think this will be a huge thing being able to mine in space. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the money on it, spend the the resources I should say on making the CV drill. <clears throat> It'll make life easier getting resources in outer space, which we're gonna be able to do pretty quick here. So. Okay, we've got a drill turret we can put on. We should also make some... I was just going to make minigun turrets because then we share the ammo with the uh, with the smaller vehicles. Now, where is that minigun turret? HV. Flak turret. What does it look like? Come on. Minigun turret base minigun turret CV there we go so we're gonna want one under the nose um, on the top and then I guess at the back top too so front top back top yeah so three let's make three <clears throat> okay, so while those are getting fabricated, oh, I can't grab anymore. Okay, so not a big deal. Let's get this stuff in. So we need to put a ventilator in. Let's put one in up here. Uh, I think we can just go in the top corner here. It's fine. That's good. We can always put more stuff in, more cargo, whatnot. Okay, this other ventilator. Uh, this other ventilator I'm going to actually use as a bridge between the... So right here. Right there. Okay. So that'll be a way to actually get up and walk onto here, I guess, if you want. Let's get these generators in. So, we don't want them going that way. Let's, yeah. So we'll do side by side like that. And like that. Okay, so we've got a couple of generators. Those, those two T1s will be just fine. That'll be plenty of power. Probably one T1 would do it, but... Uh, let's put in these T3 fuel tanks, so we're going to flip them, get them back there. How far back can it go? That's it. That's it. Okay. We'll get this one there. Okay. 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 Well, they take up a lot of space, I know. Uh... But I want to continue with some more fuel than just that. So let's get this flipped and put that in there. And that in there. And then we can even stand this guy up. Put him there. Okay, that's quite a bit of fuel now. That's two T3s and three T2s. So that should... That's fine. That'll be fine. I'm going to get radiated coming across, actually. Maybe I should... Oh, there's my base defending itself. And parts. You know what? You know what? I don't need them right now. We're in the middle of getting this thing set up. Okay, I th I'm thinking we could probably just take one of those out. The one. Ah, you know what? You know what? We'll leave it. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just we'll just not climb up 
right beside the Eh, it don't matter. Okay, so now let's get our O2 in here. And where can I do that? So I wanted to put three of these in. So I'm going to do, I guess, one, two, and we'll have to make another one. Okay, let's do that. Here, I'll just go like this and look at my base with my drone because you can do that and I will make another fuel tank or sorry oxygen tank where is it that uh, I wonder if they change this so that two of the small ones so 1000 this is 2000 uh, energy and five kilowatts Five. Oh. Okay, you use less energy for the amount of oxygen. That's the trade off. Okay. So there is a trade off. Okay. Man, it weighs a little bit less than two of them. Okay. So less energy and weighs less. So there is a benefit to having them. Okay, well, if there's a benefit, then I'll go for it. I just wasn't sure if there actually was a benefit to it. Okay, so we have that. And we'll just go back down in here and place it. And it's going to go right there. Okay, so that's the ventilators and oxygen now we can put in what else do we got here that's pre-built that we didn't have to build well we've got these automatic doors so we can beef these up so let's do that so well you know I probably got the materials just to actually um, Ah, let's just use it here. We'll deconstruct to get the parts back. Sure. And then we'll put this down. So it's airtight true, airtight true. So those, are, so the clear ones are still false. Yeah. So the glass ones are false and the other ones aren't. So do I want any sort of design? Just plain Jane. Let's do the plain Jane one. And is that going to be good the way that is? Is it going to be difficult to get out? Is that going to be difficult? Maybe I should flip that around. No, that'll be fine. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay. And then... So that's armored. Good. We can go back in here. Open that up. Get in here. So now it actually has a generator. It has fuel tanks, it has O2 tanks, ventilator, it should be all pretty much ready to fly <clears throat> as is if we just put fuel in. But let's, oh we can upgrade this one, let's do that. Come on. And so we'll stand this guy up. And we want it on the inside like that. On the inside of that block. Do we want it that block? Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, so we've upgraded the doors. <laughs> Put in some cargo boxes. Got stuff in here. So this now, technically, if we fire this up, we, could, we should be able to put oxygen in here. And let's try this. 
so we can go here actually you know what let's get rid of the drone for a second we'll go into here <clears throat> and here we'll whoa not that light there that light <laughs> Okay, so do I have lights on me? No, I don't have any lights. Oh, okay. That's okay. We'll grab some. We'll make some. Whatever. Okay. Um, next on the agenda is firing this up and getting some oxygen in here before I suffocate. So we'll go into the... Let's just group everything. And we'll go into the main here. We'll fill that up. We'll fill that up. And let's power it up. We'll turn the thrusters off. And now we should be able to. Uh, I don't put, where does it say how much we need for? They they move that. <coughs> Uh, oxygen needed to fill currently into oh god okay so we're <laughs> we've got tons of oxygen way more than we need so we'll turn that on so there we go we now have the the CV is now oxygenated fired up and oxygenated woohoo we should be able to just fly it around right now if we want, but I don't want to because it's really got nothing. So let's get something on it. So right now, I'll just stand here inside, semi-protected. Well, protected by the environment, anyway. Protected from the environment, I should say. And in oxygen so I don't actually need oxygen while I'm in here okay so what did we need to make we were making some turrets so we can do that get those put in and where are they here put them all in here yep and we'll get these so not sure what to do with the rest of these fuel tanks whatever um, oh actually I should be hmm I can actually even make an advanced constructor why is that how many flux coils oh that's why uh, I'd rather take two with me to tell you the truth and not spend my resources on them. I'm just going to leave bare minimums back at the base here. So uh, realistically let's <clears throat> let's start a container here. We'll call this blocks. And if I could actually not caps lock then we would call it blocks, not blocks. Okay. There we go. And we will put some blocks in there. That and that. <clears throat> okay, we still got to put this stuff in the CV. Okay, so let's. Let's get these turrets up. And oh, I can put the, we don't need the doors anymore, so we'll put that in the blocks. And get the turrets going here. And we can put the drill turret. So we want the drill turret right up at the front. Am I gonna be able to reach there from, let's see. Let's see, is it gonna no, oh, it's it's getting a little cranky, but it's not Oh yeah, so I wanna put the drill turret right here. Right there.
That way I can just nose into a to an asteroid and and drill from from there. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'll put the I'll put all the guns here, so we'll put that minigun there. We'll put another minigun right up at the top. Right there. And then one right at the very back. And right there. Okay. So that'll leave just enough room to come and land the SV on top. Excellent. There we go. And I also, I could mount guns to the sides. I can still put drills or something on the side. Uh, maybe multi turrets. I don't know. I don't know. But we have options still. So we have guns on here now. We have a drill. That's huge to have a, a CV with a drill right away. Uh, we'll be able to make good use of that. Okay, let's keep building. So we need an oxygen, because I'm going to leave the station here, so we need a new one. So let's build, let's build the O2 station. We need a bunch of lights. Did I have any in here? No, I've used them all. Okay. Okay, so let's grab that and we're going to grab some lights here. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. Put some on the outside too. Oh, we're going to need uh, spotlights. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, we'll put ten on, sure. We'll have this thing lit up like a Christmas tree. Maybe we'll put some flares on it. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. We'll put a couple on. A few. One, two, three, four. We'll put four on, maybe. Okay, and then we're going to need a food processor. So I'm just going to, because I'm going to leave the current one behind, so we'll grab a new one. Uh, we're going to need more than one fridge, so I can make a T2. Pass your device. Oh, I'd have to make a password device, I see. But I do have a lot of, well, mm, what do ca capacitor devices cost now? Oscillator, nanotube, steel plate. So the oscillator, 5 neo, 2 cobalt, 2 sath. Okay. 5, 2, and 2, and then some iron. So I can build a whole crap ton of them. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, well. <sighs> sure. Let's make a T2 fridge. That means I could probably upgrade my other fridges at this point. If, if, if they're cheap enough, I'll see how much it costs to upgrade. <coughs> Oh, I could have thrown, huh, well, I could, you know what, let's make two T2s then. I'll put that one in there, and the next one I'll use that. The next one will use that fridge, because it actually needed that in the recipe. See, it needs a fridge, T1. 
in the recipe so it makes it if it doesn't have it available. Well I made one available so it should just use it. There it goes. Used it. It's less resources to make then. So that's kind of cool when you um, loot stuff you can upgrade it in your uh, constructors event uh, potentially. Okay, so let's get this stuff in too. So we've got a fridge and a couple fridges and a food processor. I think they're going to be good over here. So let's do that. We'll do do the food processor here. And we'll do one of the fridges here. And we could do the other fridge. Well, hmm. Let's hold off right now. I mean, a T2 fridge is pretty good. We'll hold off. Let's get this in. I know I just made it. I'll I'll probably put it in. I'm just and just being silly. Okay, so let's do the oxygen right here, and then we need another medic. So let's do that because I'm pretty sure we didn't have one. Nope. Oh, we do have consoles, though. Let's grab those. That could be interesting. I don't want to put any antennas on. Uh, we don't need any stairs or walkways, railing. Uh, nothing else? No? Okay. So, <clears throat> let's... Oh, yeah, we've got the repair bay to do, too. Uh, let's make we need a armor locker and we need a medic station where is that I'm looking right at it aren't I clone medic and what else are we going to need? I could make a repair station. They're really expensive. One zest goes in. Oh, that's not too bad. 10 nanotubes. Power, power coil. Yikes. I only got two. I know I can make power coils. A restroom eight Zascosium eight. Ouch. So not very many. Uh well. Hmm. Oh what the hell? Mobile repair station. Pricey freaking things. Don't use them all that often, I guess, but when you do need them, it's nice to have. I could probably just go to like trading stations and use theirs, but I'm lazy. Okay, so let's get the armor locker, the medic. Uh, we can get the repair station in here too. Let's just grab all the stuff. Okay, so, oh, here comes the drones. Uh, about to be shot down any any second. Come on, guns. Oh, there we go. They're not making any noise for some reason. Well, it looks like my turrets active, but they got no guns on the uh, CV, or they got no ammo on the CV. 
<laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I don't feel like going and getting the parts right now. We're in the process of doing this. Let's just keep doing this process. Okay, so we want the armor locker and then or I could do like Oh, you know what? I could do like this. It's one, two, and then repair, heal. Okay, let's do this. So we'll we'll do this here, because then we can put this guy here. <laughs> Had to get that second one on here somehow or another like that yeah there we go and then we're gonna do so the repair station we'll put that put that right there like that and then we'll do the we'll do hmm should we do this right there? Like this? Or should we do it over here on this side? Let's do it there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these tech equipment. And I want to... Well, we can let's spin that, put tuck that into there. So we want each scanner type. One of each scanner type. I'm not going to be able to fit it in here. So let's get that, and then we can put them on the ceiling in the front here. So let's do that. We'll put. Is this the big one? No, this is the bigger one. Okay, so let's flip that. And that can go, yeah, just right there. And then this one, slightly smaller one, can go right there. Okay. There we go. So now we can access all the scanners. Uh, we've got the medical bay, we've got repair, we've got armor, a couple fridges, we've got food processing, and we're going to throw a couple constructors in here. Um, I've got this space up here too, I can put deco I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feng shuied this area. Uh, I don't know what I'm missing at this point, just the constructors. Okay. So, let's start doing those then. Oh, um, what do I have on me? So, we need to get some lights in here. It's starting to get dark. So, let's do this. Put a we'll put a light in here. Let's spin that. Put that in there. And we're also going to put one... In the middle up here but we're gonna do one of these there we go okay and then actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust that right away and I'm gonna crank the range and intensity up to three same with on this one So I'm going to crank the range and the intensity up to three. There. That makes it nice and bright in there without being overly bright. With just two lights. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Um, what's next? So we've got the cargo... 
bay. In, okay, so you know what? We should probably put the repair. Where should we put the repair? Somewhere. You know what? Probably right about there, right? So let's do that. Let's. Zap this block out here. Oops, can't reach. And then we'll replace it with this one. Oh, I just lost a ton of oxygen, didn't I? I bet you I did. Oh well, there we go. Eh. Oh well. Just that one area, the, the rest of it didn't lose auction, although, although that is the biggest area. <laughs> so, whoops. Anyway, I have a lot of oxygen, I'm not too worried. So we put the repair bay in, and now we can... Oh geez, you know what we should have done? We should have probably textured before we started putting all the stuff in. Let's... Should we go with the big beat up texture throughout the whole thing? Or are we going to do that on the outside maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I should probably texture this up now that I've... Well, although the... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll texture it before I put the constructors in, I guess. Okay, so let's do that. Let's grab the tools. And where did I put them? Oh, I have them on me. Okay, so that makes it easier. Okay. So, what color? Let's actually, instead of doing color first, let's do, let's do texture. So on this section here, uh, I was thinking something Not like tile, but more. Like. Like docking bay style grip, grippy. Anti slip surface. I don't know. <laughs> anti slip. Uh, that's some wicked anti slip. I'm not sure. This could be totally stupid. Oops. I'm just flipping that one. Come on. Get in there. Can I get that one? Oh, got it. Okay. Can I get this one? Ooh, nice. Uh, don't know what's going on, on the wall yet. Let's just finish the the hanger. Oops. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Okay. And I don't really know what to... Come on, no. Come on. Can I get it? There we go. And come on. Can I get it? Can I get it? Nope, nope. Come on, turn back. There we go. And come on. Arr, there we go. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to not target the hitbox of a, of a uh, block to get to the block underneath it like that. It can be really difficult. Okay, uh, so we'll go with that. I'm not really sure about the color. The color, maybe a, a gray. Yeah. Really? That was the gray? Okay. Uh, what does black look like? Ooh. Black's kind of interesting. Black is kind of interesting. 
Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. Okay, so that sticks out more, definitely. Okay, so let's go with that. Uh, probably going to go black throughout the inside interior, really. Let's just black everything. There we go. Uh, got to figure out texturing for the walls. Okay. We'll probably go with the same texturing th throughout each area of it. Okay, so that was the floor for the sh for the hangar. We're gonna need. You know what? Let's do. Let's do something metallic on the insides, like. Uh, something like this. That's kind of cool. Yeah, actually I'm liking that. Okay. Okay, so let's put this in here. Okay, yeah, I like that. Actually, I like that a lot. Let's, um... Yeah. Let's get all the interior walls like that. I like that. Can I get, can I get in there? Can I get this? Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on, let's get that. Yes. Nice. Come on. Nope. And nice. Okay. Ooh, this one might be tricky. Oh, we got it. And ooh, don't know if we actually need to. Yeah, we don't need to get in behind it because it's full. Full in the spot. Okay. So kind of see the edges on those ones so oh nice got that and can I get the that good nice okay and can I get all the way down come on yes and see this is the if I had actually done this before I started putting all the stuff and I wouldn't have to go through this stupidity Okay, so, but unfortunately, I wasn't smart enough to think of it beforehand. And that's, you pay the price. Okay. So, can I get that? Maybe, yep. Okay, good. Good. Now I don't want to do the big one and cover other areas, I just want to do, well, I wonder if I should, yeah, we'll do this on the ceiling, it looks fine, yeah. Oops. Spin you. Is that all spun the wrong way now? Yeah. There we go. And see, that's going the wrong way. At least they... I forget when they did that. Early on in 7? Or maybe it was late on in, in Alpha 6 that they fixed it so that you can spin the... You can spin your uh, texture just by targeting the same block and clicking it again. So it's like, oh, that's the wrong way let's spin it that way no that's wrong and that's wrong 
So, yeah, I'm not sure which way, what, what way is etiquette to do it like this to match up with the sides. I'm not really sure. Or do the front and then not have it match. Hmm. Texturing dilemmas. Well, let's finish off in here. So this was the, I want to get the walls and stuff done in here. You know what? For here, let's do a medium. I don't want to apply the whole block, just because we'll redo the, we'll redo the, I'll just put it everywhere for right now. We'll do the, redo the floor. <clears throat> This might be an easier way, just doing bigger areas at once. Nice. I can always fix the floor up later, or just leave it like that. I mean, it looks better than the uh, default plane, super smooth surface oh see I can't target the hitbox on that is really tough to can't get it oh well I guess I could apply the whole block right and then just check it off to small and go like that and can I I will I still can't get that one that's okay 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 so we got the interior textured except for right there and, oh let's not do whole block just go back to doing small. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Oops. Not sure which way I'm supposed to be going on these ones. Come on. Jeez, the hitboxes on some of these deco are ridiculous. Really? Come on. <laughs> Ugh. No. Come on. Come on. No. Just. Ugh. I'm going to have to pop that one off to get into it. Nope. Oh, and I can't get into those ones. Nope. I can't get into any of those. Yeah, I'm running into hitbox collision. Hitbox collision. I can't. Oh. Oh, got in behind. Oh, well, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Call me a liar. Call me a liar. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I will clean up the texturing later, to tell you the truth. Let's just continue on getting our stuff. I just want to get this area done here. Okay. <clears throat> Although we can... Here, let's flip to medium. Quickly get that done there. There we go. Okay. So, I can paint that and do the outside later. I just wanted to get the inside done there. Okay, now we get the constructors in. So what we want to do is <sighs> hmm, we want to leave a whole bunch of stuff. So so let's grab. Oh. You know what? Let's should we finish the deco off, I think, and then put these blocks away? Finish the blocks off in here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. 
eat really quick. Drones again, they're relentless. They never end. Okay, so... Where's all my deco? There it is. Get that out of here. And we get this. No, not that. We've already done that. Get this. Okay. So, I think what we want here... I know it's really dark, isn't it? So let's get some light here, too, really quick. <laughs> Okay, so up in the roof here, we will put one of these. There we go. And we'll need another one somewhere in the middle here. Right there. That's pretty good. Okay, so now we're not in the dark. What I want to do here is I want to put some something that looks like oh you know what we should change the back on here then yeah so I want to make this flat back black so let's let's get our color and texture tool back out so what I want to do here is go with the complete painted flat right here and there on those ones there and that kind of scared me <laughs> and we'll paint them solid black okay the reasoning is because now I want to put this in so five we'll put spin this around uh, let's go with something ridiculous like this hanging upside down but up against the wall like that and then we'll do, you know what, we'll do the same thing here, like that. And then for this one, we'll do that. And this one, we'll do that. There we go. Now they really stick out. They look like it's supposed to be there, right? Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Nice. Okay. Nice. Um, okay, <laughs> sorry, got sidetracked. Okay, I can put this stuff away now. So let's go into blocks, and we can grab this, and we can put that away, we can put that away. Uh, we need to use this stuff. So, that's what up here is going to be for. So we want toilet beside the kitchen sink, right? Of course. Of course, you want the toilet right beside the kitchen sink. <laughs> so there. And then we'll put a shower right beside it. We'll do the matching shower. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Toilet and shower. Oops. And then, you know what? We'll put that big couch because we can use that to crash on, right? Bed or couch? I think the couch because that's more. That's better. Yeah, we'll do it that right like that. That that looks good. Okay. Okay, we'll call it the crash coach <clears throat> to crash on or to crash with. Uh, hopefully not, but 
Okay, so we've got stuff in here. We've got stuff. Now, let's go back into blocks and put this stuff away. Uh, we need, we're probably going to need more lights, but we will deal with that later. Let's get the constructors in here. Okay, so let's grab, first of all, this builder constructor. We, oh God, we still got tons of crap on us. So, <laughs> Let's put stuff away. <clears> o <throat> two. Oh, I'll keep this out. So, what do we want? Fuel O two. Yeah, put like half that in there. Uh, we should put the water and stuff. Okay, we can put that. Uh, not eat that yet. Okay, so good. And then, okay. <clears throat> Some more blocks. Sorry. I know this episode is going to be kind of boring, me just picking through stuff. And I really need to get these up too. We can do that in a bit. Let's do. This one was fuel O2. So fuel O2. Okay. And we need tools and weapons. Weapons. And actually, we'll do weapons ammo. Why not? And then tools, boosts, armor, tools, boosts, armor. I can put armor and boosts in the armor locker, but it doesn't really hold that much. Okay, and then we'll put um, mm, don't know maybe we'll call this one plates because we'll take all the plates with us okay <clears throat> so let's get some stuff put away here then let's just use we're going to use this one unnamed one for my for my inventory, my own personal inventory right now, because we're just going to dump it. Oops. See, I'm going to hold that and that, that, because I'm going to be putting those in a different spot. Tools. And put that there, put that there. Okay, putting those on. Uh, actually, we'll just put that there too. That and okay. So go into the food processor. Oh, let's uh, regroup everything again. And we'll put the water in there. We can put these plates in there. Okay. Okay, and then put that in there. Put that in there. Okay, let's start moving stuff over. So plates and then we'll go like this plates oh 
Oh, I should actually upgrade this thing to uh, hardened steel too. That's a good idea. Let's get let's get everything in it first here, so that uh, we can take it out for a quick test flight. See what it's like before we throw hardened steel on it. it might be hideous anyway. Okay, so that's some plates. Let's grab uh, the bulk of this stuff. I'll leave some stuff behind. We'll leave that and that. We'll take the rest of this. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. Okay. Blocks. What kind of blocks? Blocks I want to start other bases with and stuff. So, yeah. You know what? We're just going to grab that whole thing. We're going to grab that whole thing. And we're going to go like this. And we're going to go into blocks. And we're just going to dump it all into here. Oh, actually, this I'll leave behind and put on the... Yeah. And... Nice. Okay. Good. Let's keep grabbing stuff. Blocks. And then... Weapons ammo. We'll just take it all. Uh, should I leave something? We'll leave 500 bullets. And... And enough to make a weapon. Yeah. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, so I want to grab just everything, so we'll go like that. Okay. So we've got blocks. And we've got tool, weapons, ammo. Okay, and tools, boost armor. Okay. Grabbing this stuff. We've got more of that. Lego box three, nothing. Okay, so builder, we'll start grabbing Just everything here. Okay. And then we're going to go into. Tools, armor, that's tools, tools, uh, armor boosts, uh, were we doing meds in there too, I think? Meds, sure. Okay, so that'll all go in the other constructor when I, can I grab more out of it? Uh, it's probably too full, right? I won't be able to grab it all. Okay, so let's dump. Let's dump in the bottom one on the base for now. Oops. and everything. Okay, so now 
we can actually, you know what we need to do? We need to go pop it. And I don't think I'm close enough, so we'll go down there. Come on. I need to fill up my oxygen anyway. I guess I could have done that on the CV. But I can do it here just as handily. And there it will quickly come on. Ugh. Quickly grab some no, not in that one. How about here, yeah. There we go. Okay. So this should be empty, right? The center one here? Yep. Okay. So let's grab it. We are going to disassemble. And we're going to take that back and put that in. And then we'll put all that stuff into it. And we'll do that with the other constructor. And then we'll be pretty much done the transfer process for the most part. We'll grab specific sprouts and stuff. We'll grab probably all the sprouts. We'll do we'll rip up the garden. <laughs> Take all the plots. So they're just a pain in the ass to make. I can just lay those down again if I ever come back. Although if I really need them, if I'm saving this as a survival base, the plots already there are huge. Hmm. That's true. Okay, well, let's get this in. Let's get this in. So, come on, graphics, don't do this stupidness to me. Give me... Let me try twisting it. Yeah, it comes back. Nice, okay. So let's tuck this in the back corner here. Put the display there. Good, okay. And then we will... Get this stuff. Oh, didn't really want to do it in this order, but that's okay. I don't care. I wanted to put all the ingots in first. Easier to see <clears throat> what I have. That's okay. Okay, so now. Oh, I put that on the base, didn't I? That's okay. That's okay. Go like this. And we'll grab it. It was the bottom box. We'll just grab all that. And now we can just go into here. And let's regroup again. Go into the constructor. And well, what I'll do then is I'll go like this. And we'll do silicone. Go like that. Go buffer, go like that. Do the cobalt, go like that. Like that. Done. Okay. Care about the rest of it. Okay, so that gives us a better look at what we've got going for us right now. Okay, now I think this one was also smelting stuff. Now I really want to just take it all to tell you the truth. But I won't. We'll leave that. So we'll grab the rest of this. Okay, now what I'm going to do here though is I will leave.
a bunch of stuff for the other constructor. So we'll put that stuff into here. There. Cobalt. Oh well. That gives me the basics. I can I can make um, I can make a drill. And then from there I can rule the world again. There's enough there's enough to spawn a HV. So I can start again if I need to. <clears throat> okay. So this stuff. Oh. Uh can I grab it? I probably can't. Let's try. No. It's not gonna let me. I am going to go boop. Yeah. Too far away. Let's go grab it. Okay. So, this guy is ready to go. Let's pick him up. And we want to disassemble because we want the whole block. And we'll just leave the rest of this here. Like this. I'll grab a bunch of food. We'll grab some farming stuff. We'll grab a bunch of sprouts. Make sure I can I have a sprout of each type and then we'll be good to go. Okay. So drones are coming again, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, that doesn't surprise me. Let's get this constructor in. And then we're probably pretty much at the end of the episode. So, it's going to do that stupid video thing. It's okay. Spin it around and it comes back. There we go. Nice. Let's fill this puppy up. So, this is going to be our ammo... Okay, yeah, ammo fuel. So it's going to need all this. Okay, good. So it needs to make itself a whole bunch of 15 mil bullets. So let's do that. We're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six. 6,000 to start. So there, it's now making its own ammo, which is very cool. Always got to like it when a vessel can make its own stuff. So once that's all in, so another thing we can do too is let's get the <clears throat> turrets settled. So I don't want Predator, I don't want Warp Drive. We'll leave Turret, we'll get rid of Mounted Weapon Thruster Generator. So we'll leave those three. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the... Um... One of those drones get close enough to shoot something and hit my ship? Really? Are you kidding me? Did I actually get attacked? What is up there? That's my turret pointing. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It shot at my turret. Ugh. The nerve of it. My turret wasn't even, didn't even have, see how flimsy that is? Look at how dented it is. Okay, so that just makes me want to upgrade this right off the bat. So, 
I think that's what I'm going to do, folks. So basically to do it, it's really easy. Uh, oh, I, actually, I put all the plates in here. So let's go into the here. Go into the here. And where's all the cargo? It's up higher because it's spelled alphabetically. And plates. Okay, so we're going to grab a sheet of these and two sheets of these. And that should be enough to upgrade to at least hardened steel. So, uh, bases and CVs, you can upgrade steel from hardened steel, and hardened steel can, can upgrade to combat steel. So you can actually do two things of upgrades. For here, we're just going to do the combat, or the hardened steel, I think, right now. But you have to actually repair first. So let's repair all this. So it looks like I just took just minimal damage. Yeah, hit hit the uh, turret. Okay. Hiccup, sorry. Okay. So that's repaired. So now if I want to upgrade, so I'll just upgrade those same ones that just got attacked by selecting upgrade. And as long as I have what I need on me, so this is five times hardened steel plate. Okay, so I just I just need hardened steel plate. From steel to hardened steel, I just need hardened steel plate. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, we were gonna take it out for a flight first, right? Oh, uh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, if it's sluggish after I take it out for a flight, then I'll have to deal with it. There is room in the nacelles here, down inside there, there's room to maybe put more RCSs or, and we can put more thrusters in and stuff, so <clears throat> it's expandable. Don't really know how much I want to spend on it, I just, I just don't want the blocks getting taken out in one hit, is all. So we'll at least put it to combat steel. Or not combat, but uh, hardened steel. Okay. Moving right along. I might do the cockpit area. Combat steel. Right around where the... Um, core is and such and well the pilot <laughs> namely me so in order to do that you just click on it again see that one just became combat steel and I can't upgrade it now so click it once hardened steel click it twice combat steel so yeah why not we'll do the cockpit area combat steel Unfortunately, when you upgrade your blocks like this, it adds a, a lot of weight. So it's going to make your ship not as maneuverable. It won't be as fast and it won't be as agile. So you, like I say, you might have to put more thrusters in or, or put bigger thrusters in and some more RCSs. It all depends on, on your own personal taste on how you like it to perform, right? So Okay. We are almost done doing the outer shell here. And then I'll have to do the underside which will Although I can get to it from the inside just by, it's only one block thick. Like I say, this is a cheap, cheap, cheap starter CV, so. And so I was able to spawn it before even going to space. 
even though I went to space first, just because. blocks okay we'll get our uh, steel plates we'll get some more plates here so I don't need those so let's put those back we'll grab that we'll grab two more of those obviously okay getting there Oops. Double clicking on some of the blocks. Occasionally turning one into combat steel. What's what's wrong there? It's not gonna upgrade? Why not? Needed five what? Huh? I but I've got tons. Um are they damaged or something? No? Okay, now I'm confused. So... Upgrade. From steel block to hardened steel block. I've got hardened steel plates! Why? And now none of them are needed three times... Okay. Um, something weird's going on. Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> oh, how sad and pathetic. The problem... <laughs> oh, actually, can I get it? Yeah. Uh, no, is he not? It's not. It's not grouped yet. Okay, so <clears throat> the problem, which one is it here? Yeah, this is it, is that I don't have any ammunition <laughs> for the multi-tool, so let's make some more charges. Uh, now, did I, I probably put the charges, you know what, it's probably because I stowed it and Let's go into here. The unnumbered. Yeah, I've got charges. Ugh, derpy derp. Um, that's a lot of O2, so let's put all that away. Put that fuel away, put that there. Hang on to this that there. Okay. So let's continue to upgrade. There we go. <laughs> now that our multi-tool has some power, it can do this. Oops. Although, you know what? I was, was going to do the uh, this all combat steel anyway, so. Front bulkhead makes sense. Okay. This will make it a little bit safer. We won't get one shot at least. Okay, almost, almost done with the 
with the upgrades. Okay. So. Is that all? Oh, nope. Gotta get the top, and I'll have to get the bottom still, too. Okay. Come on. Oh, repair, repair. Okay. Now upgrade, thank you. Nice. Get those upgraded. Okay, this thing won't feel so flimsy. Nice. Well, I th think this episode has gone a little long in the tooth, so I think we're going to we're going to leave it here. I'm going to finish doing all the upgrading and I'll figure out a paint scheme for it and give it a paint job see if there's anything else finish tidying up squaring away what I need to get the some sprouts and stuff like that and make sure it's all equipped and ready to go and then next episode we will take this thing out and explore the universe well, guys, if you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you um, want to see when the next episode is published, uh, make sure you subscribe and set your no the notifications to on, <laughs> if I can dock, and you'll get notified when I upload. So there you go, guys. Pretty good. We've got ourselves a decent enough little starter CV to get us into the stars and we'll uh, we'll go do that on the next episode until then guys you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>